as a 3D artist, one of the best things you can invest in is a good tablet. Across the board, using a tablet is a far better experience. It's faster and most of the time yields better results than using a mouse. Whether you are using a tablet for sculpting or texture painting, a tablet is a must, especially if you want to take your art to the next level. For example, if you take a look at what professional artists use in game development or VFX studios, you will realize that a lot of them are using tablets. The question of tablet versus mouse has been discussed in length by a lot of artists. So can you sculpt using only the mouse or do you have to use a tablet? These questions are not so straightforward and simple to answer because there are people who would argue about this from both camps. However, I think a lot of us can agree that a tablet just makes a lot of sense, especially when it comes to sculpting and texture painting when working on a 3D project. And the best would be those display tablets where you can directly draw and sculpt on the screen. But for a long time, those tablets were outside the budget of a lot of artists, especially who are just starting out. But the technology is getting better day by day, and these tablet prices are going down considerably each year thanks to a lot of competition between manufacturers. So today we're gonna take a look at one of those tablets, which is the Huon Canvas 16 Pro 4K. As you might have guessed, this video is brought to you by Huon. Competition in any market is great. Companies like Huon and XP Pen have been drawn with a hammer on Wacom, especially in recent years, which is not a bad thing by the way, because healthy competition results in a win-win for everyone, especially the end users. These high resolution screen tablets are a great step in the right direction. There are two variations for this tablet that you can grab from Huon right now. There is the Pro 16 4K and there is the Pro 16 Plus 4K. And the only difference between these two is the color gamut and the contrast ratio. The one we're gonna review today is the Plus model, Canvas 16 Pro Plus 4K. And to many, this is the best 16 inch display on the market right now. And as more and more features are added to these displays, their prices are going up as well. With a price tag of $829, this is no more a budget pen display or cheap alternative to Wacom. Yuan is giving their competition a run for their money and I am all here for it. But first, let's see what we get on the box. First of all, you will get the display itself, of course. This is a pen display, and if you are not familiar with them, the Stampa Drone display plugs into your computer, like Windows or Mac computer, and even some Android devices. It is basically an extra monitor that you can draw on, which can give you a lot of creative freedom. Some people might be asking, this looks like a Windows tablet, but is it not? This is just a screen. And in order to be able to use it, you need to hook it to your computer and a power outlet in order to work. The build quality feels great. It is slim and it has this aluminum finish on the back and it feels light and sturdy. And I would say it is definitely well built. You also get a decent aluminum stand, which you can adjust with multiple levels. It has rubber bands on the top and on the bottom, so it will prevent sliding while you are drawing on it, which is a great thing. Next, you have your connection cables. This tablet, as we saw in previous versions, can be hooked to a PC through a USB-C cable or a 3-in-1 HDMI, in addition to a USB-A connector. Huon does a great job at providing all these cables you need in the box. And there is also a power adapter that you might need to plug just in case. For me, I just plugged the 3-in-1 cable to my desktop and I was good to go. For a laptop, you might need to use that. There's also a pen, a pen pouch, and the pen donut to hold your pen and also doubles as extra storage for your nibs. And finally, gloves and a piece of cleaning cloth to keep the screen all squeaky and shiny. And now, let's talk a bit about the screen. It is a 4K panel, which means you have a resolution of 3840 by 2060 pixels. When the drawing tablet starts getting bigger, you'll really notice a difference between the Full HD and the 4K display because unlike the traditional drawing tablet with these screen pen tablets, you're gonna spend a lot of time looking directly at them up close so you will really notice the difference. The screen is also laminated, so the gap between the glass and the actual drawing screen below is very minimal. This will eliminate that parallax effect and make the drawing feel more accurate when using a non-laminated display anyway, for example the Santix 16. Now, the screen itself has a semi-matte finish to it. This helps with reflections as sometimes a pure glass screen reflects a lot of light 
and becomes distracting. This anti-glare finish makes it a lot more usable. Not only that, but it also provides some resistance or pen grip. Although not as grippy as I would have wanted it to be, but it is definitely not slippery. Like after a while, I didn't notice it at all. But the elephant in the room with this version probably would be the shortcuts on the side. I would have loved a couple of them on the side, but it is a big display and you will be using your keyboard a lot, especially if you are using Blender, so that is that. Next up we have the pen. The battery free pen is one of the highlights of the tablet. It is using the Huon Pentec 3.0, so you will get 81, 92 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degrees of tilt. Now, I tried the pen in different scenarios, especially when drawing and it is pretty solid. The straight lines are pretty straight and the pressure sensitivity is really stable and it tracks really well. But for a 3D user using a 3D software such as Blender, this is actually extremely useful. Having a display and especially when sculpting is a world difference. This week, I've been running the 16 Pro and it ruined the experience of the Intuos Pro I actually use. This is at least for me as far as sculpting is concerned. On the actual pen, you will get two buttons. I set the first one to rotate the view and the other one to control so we can add or subtract when sculpting. If you are using Blender with this, don't forget to tick the continuous grab option in the navigation settings because it's gonna help you a lot. The Huon tablet driver also provides you with a decent level of customization. For instance, you can change the shortcuts on your pen, your work area and even the display settings. For me, I found the default display brightness a bit dim, so I switched the screen mode to movie because it just looked brighter and much better. I also changed the color temperature to a higher level at 9300 Kelvin, which feels a lot better. You can also change the display settings through the actual screen by holding the power button for a few seconds. The settings panel should pop up. Using your pen, you can adjust the settings from here as well. Now, some people might be asking, is the tablet portable? Well, to some extent, yes and no. It is a compact tablet that you can easily fit in your backpack and you can take it with it whatever you want, but it also comes with those cables, so depending on your use case, you might not be able to pack it with you. Now for the price, the tablet starts at $829 and for that, this is no longer a budget tablet that you can buy as a Wacom alternative. This will definitely put it outside the budget for some people, but fear not because Huon has the same 16-inch display in a level resolution, but for a lot less money. So if you want to buy this one, you might want to check the other releases. So if you are interested in these tablets, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.